Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubafar, and welcome to part one of a multi-part series. Over the next two weeks, I'm going to lay out all the weapons in a clear and simple format. Just a note before we begin, this information is as accurate as I could research as of today, the 3rd of March, 2016. Like everything else in Star Citizen, it's subject to change and balance. It's important to understand what all the statistics mean so we can best select the right weapon for the role. The Rate of Fire Rate of Fire is how quickly the weapon can cycle. It's commonly known as RPM or Rounds Per Minute. The damage. Damage is the numerical value in hit points that a weapon does against the target. The damage in Star Citizen is currently broken down into three categories, physical, energy, and distortion damage. Calculating rate of fire and damage will output a new rating called damage per second. The DPS is the accumulated damage done to a target per second. This number is only important if you hit the target every time. Depending on how precisely you're able to aim, simply opting for the weapon with the highest DPM may not be the correct choice for you. The range. Range represents the distance where the projectile stops being able to damage the target effectively. The speed. Speed is commonly known as the muzzle velocity of the projectile. Having a slower muzzle velocity will mean that you need to lead further in advance of the target. This manifests in-game as having a longer pip offset. The angle that you need to lead will be greater. Generally, slow-moving bullets are more difficult to hit further away targets. So it's become pretty clear that selecting the right weapon for the task is important but you have to take into consideration your personal skill and the limitations of the craft you plan on piloting. In no particular order, welcome to your size 1 energy weapons. The Clausen Werner 007 Bulldog Laser Repeater The laser repeater has a unique way of dealing with overheating. It has a DPS of 155.8, it has a rate of fire of 550 RPM, it has a range of 2385, it has a velocity of 2650, and has an energy damage rating of 17 per round. It costs 800 rec and 8000 UEC. This weapon is the fastest cycling weapon in the class. It also has a very good range and is super easy to use. Because of that, this is the one I would recommend to anyone just starting out. But I wouldn't call it a noob gun. It has a legitimate place in any armory. The ANR Omnisky 3 laser cannon. I've heard them called Omnisky, Omnisky, I just call them Omnis. It has a DPS of 165. It has a rate of fire of 180 RPM. It has a range of 2385. It has a velocity of 2500 and has an energy damage rating of 55. It costs 1,200 REC and costs 12,000 UEC. The Omni has very good long range performance, good velocity but a slower rate of fire. It has really great punching damage with each shot. Several well placed shots will make quick work of any enemy ship. Overall, I feel it's a great weapon if you like to make those aimed shots. The Bering M3A Laser Cannon. This weapon has a DPS of 167, a rate of fire of 200 RPM, a range of 2385, a velocity of 2700 and an energy damage rating of 50. It costs 400 rec and 4000 UEC. This is a very good valued weapon. This laser cannon has a very good long range performance. It has a slightly quicker projectile speed and a quicker rate of fire. It still has that good punchy damage but it's a little bit less than the Omni. Several well placed shots can make quick work of an enemy ship. Both of these laser cannons don't really appreciate being fired for extended bursts. There's nothing stopping you from holding down that trigger, but if you need to take down a small target that's far away, I'd personally recommend taking aimed shots. And rounding up the pack, the Max Ox NN-13 Neutron Cannon. This weapon has a DPS of 184, a rate of fire of 80 RPM, a range of 935, a velocity of 1700, and an energy damage rating of 138. It costs 800 rec and 8000 UEC. It's a very short range, high damage, slow firing weapon. It's super power hungry. Each round does three times the damage of any laser cannon, but the slow projectile speed and short range makes this weapon well suited for really short engagements. If you get the drop on the enemy, it feels like a god gun. It sounds really strong, but personally, the juice isn't worth the squeeze. It has too many pitfalls to be selected over any of the other weapons. So here are some final recommendations for the size 1 energy weapons. Stay the hell away from the NN13 unless you have a death wish or a particular reason to mount them. They're flat out too weird. They overheat in 5 seconds and I personally can't imagine where they'll be useful. I can on the other hand recommend the Bering M3A. It has great speed and great damage per second. It's a wonderfully balanced and easy to use weapon. The pips are close to the center and the weapon is very difficult to overheat. The 007 Bulldog have almost the same speed and same effective damage per second. I would say that they're as good as the M3A, but fire more like a machine gun. Depending on how you fly, these might be a better fit for you. Try them both out to see what you prefer aim shots, or spray and pray. The Omnis are, however, my personal favorite. They do more damage per shot, and I usually aim my shots instead of holding down the trigger. 
They fire a bit slower and the pips are a little bit further, but it's really satisfying once you get used to them. This guide is meant to be a great way to get up to speed, but at the end of the day, you need to spend some rec to test out what you like. A shout out to Darth Ren, welcome to enemy contact. A skilled fighter who I know with time will become a great teammate and friend. Also thanks to the patrons who support the channel. We've had four successful ship giveaways to date and it's because of your support. Stay tuned for more videos like this in the series. I'm working on size one ballistic next and then size two energy. If you like my no bullshit format, please tell a friend or org mate who's just starting out about my channel. My goal is to grow the channel and I can't accomplish this without subscribers like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the verse.